So, man, look, this is an ugly situation going on with Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee Simmons and these goddamn kids. First of all, I'm not here to talk about none of the accusations against Russell Simmons or whatever they may be or whatever. I'm not getting into none of that. We're going to look at this from just a logical goddamn standpoint. Like I told you, same thing with R. Kelly and everybody else. You're not about to have me jumping on the bandwagon and just take somebody down just because. And it may be, it may, I'm not, it may be true. Every, all the accusations against him may be true. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it is what it is. I'm not going to be the one to sit here and pile on with these goddamn people to take somebody down. You know what I'm saying? From our community. So I'm not even get, I'm not even touching that. Say what you want about that. It is what it is. But I'm here to talk about all the other stuff because this is the thing about the situation with the kids and the Kamora Lee and all this stuff. The magic word, like I said before, the magic word is kids. When somebody want to get some, pull some bullshit across, they'll do it in the name of kids. All you got to do is say the word kids and everybody lose their goddamn sight of perspective. Because nobody wants to be caught dead seeming like they're being insensitive towards something that could be having something to do with kids. You know what I'm saying? If somebody says something. So throw the word kids out there and people lose their goddamn perspective of what's right and wrong and what's really going on right in front of their goddamn face. You would have to go through stuff first. You would have to have experience with certain stuff to understand things from, to be able to see through smoke screens and bullshit when people try to use kids to pull some bullshit across on people. But from what I understand, first and foremost, come more at least, the fact that she's still calling herself Simmons, you know what I'm saying, right there should tell you this is a money-hungry slime ball. And when I seen the daughter on the thing, I seen her going through all that crying, then I seen her pause for a second and say, did I say everything, did I cover everything? And a regular tone of voice, and then went back into crying after she said that. So that right there told me she's on some bullshit. Now, everybody forgets that Kamora Lee Simmons is accused of her and her husband she remarried to some other dude stealing $250 million from Russell Simmons at some point to pay for this joker's legal fees or something. He got caught in some trouble. I don't know though, all the details. If you want to look that up, you can go watch it somewhere else and look it up. Let's not lose sight of that. Let's not forget because she's coming out and saying this, that. Let's not forget the facts of the situation there. And they talking, his daughter talking about he be upset and he be mad and stuff like that. He not sending money. Is he supposed to? You know what I'm saying? And this all started because the daughter posted on IG to the mom and said, happy Father's Day to the mom. Which, by the way, every time I see a female do that, turns my goddamn stomach. I hate when the, I don't give a damn how I don't I don't care how much the kid's dad wasn't around none of that stuff if you got to go out here as a female and say and take claim to Father's Day because you raised your kid as a single female that's just a goddamn shame in my opinion you you just a goofball in my opinion not you know what I'm saying I'm known to be abstract I'm known to be different I'm known to be taboo so I'm not going to sit there and pretend that people are supposed to feel how I feel about any number of any fucking topic because I'm just I'm just that person. I've always been that person. Not by choice, just by the natural order of how life is. I've always been different than most people I know. So I think you're a goddamn goofball if you're a female taking credit for Father's Day. You just look fucking stupid. Do a look. Think of a man raising a child on his own, as I have at times in my life, claiming it and going out and saying Happy Mother's Day to this. How does that look? Look the same goddamn way for you as a female talking about a happy Father's Day for yourself. Fucking sound dumb. Anyway, it started because the daughter went and said that to Kimura on, I think, IG or some shit like that. And then Kimura, like, shared it or something like that. So that was what stared this up. And Russell Simmons got into it and made a comment about it and said whatever he said. And that's what caused all this whole, this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? She, so she come out insinuating all this stuff, talking all this stuff. But the thing about exposing, you come out knowing all these secrets about somebody, seeing all this stuff, and then she even threw something about some boys in there and all this stuff. If you got all this information, chick, if you're so righteous, how come you have been? How come you haven't already bought this out? And how come you have stood by him for as long as you have? 
knowing all this information. Now that this stuff's going on, now your pockets may be looking kind of funny. Now you want to come out here saying all this stuff. And is there anybody that really believes that? I remember I was young seeing this marriage on TV and stuff, Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons. Is there anybody who thought that Kamora Lee Simmons actually really cared about Russell Simmons? I mean, like, is there any goddamn person? Is there one goddamn joker out here in the world who actually believed that she actually ever loved Russell Simmons? Like, real, realistically and fucking seriously. Can I get a fuck a witness? Can I get one goddamn witness of a person who actually believed that Kamora Lee Simmons ever fucking cared a one goddamn water drop about Russell Simmons in real life? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I would hope, I, I ain't gonna lie, it did seem at times that Russell Simmons actually did believe that she loved him. But I mostly just chalked it up to he just, he's getting older. He was wanted what he wanted. He was willing to pay for it if he had to pay for it and do what he wanted to do. And that was that. So I was giving him that benefit of the doubt because I'm, I'm hoping that he never at no, at no point in time ever thought that this bitch actually fucking cared, a, cared any fucking an inch about him. I hope he never thought that because if he did, he'd be a goddamn fucking goofball. If he thought for one goddamn minute that Kamora Lee Simmons ever gave a goddamn fucking hoot holler and fucking one hoot about any fucking emotional thing about this dude so, so let's just establish that you know what i'm saying so when shit like this happens like i said you had to either either be through firsthand experience of being on a the other end of some grimy ass bitches corrupting their kids or trying to do some grimy ass you got you have to experience that to be able to see through this type of bullshit the daughter on there talking about financial stuff and all this and that. She's talking about she love her dad. But also saying, um, talking like about the parents, the grown folks' business, like their their personal business. If you and, and, she's, and she's like, oh, he, he claims my mom turned me against him, but that's not the case. This is just me talking for myself. If that's not the case, you wouldn't even be commenting on certain stuff because you would be staying in a child's plate. You wouldn't even be talking about certain stuff. If your mom didn't turn them against you because it wouldn't be none of your business to even come out here and goddamn talk about it just wouldn't be your place to even speak about it you know what i'm saying and like i said unless you've been through it <clears throat> you wouldn't understand that it is possible that a female that's on some bullshit can turn a person against their kid it can make you not give a fuck about dealing with your kid. Like, I'm, as ugly as that sounds, it can make you hate your kid. It can make you not love your kid. And at the very least, it can make you just not want to deal with your kid because you're like, if I got to deal with this bullshit in order to deal with my kid, I'd rather just not deal with the whole situation, period. Because when you got somebody who you mess around and had a kid with, and this is the thing about the whole child support thing that's overlooked. Let me just say this. This is the main thing about why child support needs to be rewritten, revisited, and re the law needs to be, you know what I'm saying, has needs some amendments to it, and shit should be, to me, should be done away with, you know what I'm saying? The thing about child support that nobody, that everybody forgets is that what about the dudes, yeah, I understand, dude, whatever, but what about the dudes, and this is not my case when I say this, but what about the joker who genuinely wanted to be with a chick had all good hopes and intentions, did everything he had to do by the book, did everything right, had all hopes, followed all the steps, and was totally genuine and honest about having a, a kid with a chick. And she just wake up one goddamn day and decide, you know what, this ain't the dude I want. Or she might have been on some grimy shit from the door. Either way, and decided, this ain't what I want. I want this joker's money. Um, I'm going to just do him grimy. You know what I'm saying? What about the Joker that did everything right and tried to be righteous and be 100% real about having to kill with somebody and just got done dirty by a chick? That's the part everybody forgets when it comes to this child support shit. I can understand if a dude just on some bullshit, has to kill with a chick and just bounces on her or just whatever. But what about the Joker who actually had good intent and is getting done dirty by some grimy-ass, money-hungry, fucking cold-hearted, dark-hearted, 
bitch. What about that dude? You know what I'm saying? Shit is ugly. This child support shit is fucking. But man, like like I said, I'm not with none of this shit, Kamora. Y'all can all jump on that bandwagon. And all. I'm not with none of that shit. I'm not feeling it. I don't condone it. I'm not none of that. None of that bullshit. And that's just that.